looking at the solar eclipse. We're only a few minutes from close to totality as we can get. And a good crowd here at OUC. So, and you are our uh, presenter. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Can you give us a, a quick introduction or explanation of what's happening here? Uh, sure. So right now, uh, the moon is passing in front of the surface of the sun. So from our perspective, uh, the sun's light is being blocked out by the moon. Uh, even though the sun is a lot larger than the moon, it's also a lot further away. And those uh, ratios of their size compared to their distance makes it just so uh, the moon is just barely able to uh, block the surface of the sun. We're not quite going to get totality here, uh, but we're going to get pretty close. Are we about there now? Uh, I think we've got about, yeah, pretty close. In about like one or two minutes, we should be at our uh, uh, greatest amount of coverage. Okay. Can you introduce yourself? And my name is Michael Koop. I teach uh, physics and astronomy here on the Chillicothe campus of Ohio University. And you've been emceeing the uh, event of the, the lifetime right here? Yep. Well, uh, yeah, ho hopefully uh, people get a chance to maybe travel and see some other eclipses. The next one that's going to be in Ohio is going to be a long time from now, the year 2099. Uh, but again, you can kind of find where other eclipses are happening, because I have heard that seeing a total eclipse is a whole different thing than seeing a partial eclipse. So if you get a chance to do that, I do recommend it. So we're not getting total, but pretty close. We're at like 98%. We're really, really close, but, but not quite there. So, but still that, that little bit of difference will, will make a difference. But the comparison I've heard is a partial eclipse is like seeing a really cool sunset. A total eclipse is like someone broke the sky in terms of the magnitude of how, uh, a, a phenomenal that those observations are. All right. Well, neat things going on. Thank you. All right, take care. Things a hit, Mike. You have a good event here.